Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with the next update for my Project Level Up. This is a project that I created last year where you kind of focus on palettes in a new way. It's a bit of a mix between No Pen Left Behind and Pandas Eyeshadows. And the project basically entails of different levels. Um, I put a level goal of five, but you can continue past that if you want. However, I think everyone who's done this project, including myself, has stopped at level five. But for each level, you have to use every eyeshadow once in the palette, as well as hit one pan for level one, two times and two pans for level two, and so on. I am currently on level one. I reset the project last month when I hit goal on level five. So I'm gonna let you know how I'm doing with my level one palette today. Before jumping into that, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. Let's jump into the video. So for level one, I am working on my Bieber palette from Natasha Nona. Again, this was rolled in last month uh, when I reset the project. So I'm just going to let you know how the palette looked like last month, which was up here. So um, it was a little bit used, but it was new to me. I actually got this one very recently from my friend. I bought it off her. So I actually hadn't used it myself at all. But that is, like I said, where I was last month. And this right here is where I am with the palette today. So I'll have the comparison pictures up here, but let's go through every shade. This is actually going to be quite a quick update because it's going to be quite quick to go through every shade because I have used every single shade in here once, apart from my focus shadow, which is the shade Tone right here. So every single one of these eyeshadows have been used one time. And then Tone, like I said, which is my focus shadow right here, I have used 13 times. So no pan yet, like you can see the usage on it, like it's not really a specific dip that much either. Like you can tell it a little bit, maybe like a slight, slight dip, but it doesn't have much use at all. So when I rolled this palette in last month, you might have seen that I was a bit like, mm, I'm not sure about this palette because it is a new pa to me palette and I don't really want to like dig into certain shades in here. I want to use it more organically, but... I did also feel like I wanted to get used out of this palette because it was new to me and I hadn't reached for it yet. So what I decided to do is, because the Tasha Nona shadows are so pigmented and so deep, especially the larger ones, I decided to put a pan or 30 uses gold on my level one. So in this case, I'm, like I said, working on a tone right here. And so far, like I said, I've reached for it 13 times out of the 30. So I have 17 more to go. Um, I also am actually wearing this one today. I'm wearing it on my lower lash line to blend out my lower lash line shade. And then I'm also today wearing the whole bottom row. So I hadn't used these shadows before because I have been traveling in a lot of dry. So I didn't bring this whole palette with me. I did bring tone with me as well as a couple other shades, but I couldn't bring the whole palette. So I did have the rest of this palette, like the bottom row left to use. So I used it on today. So today I'm wearing Spot on my outer corner. That is like the blue, that I'm, oh sorry, the black that I'm wearing on my outer corner. I blended that one out with Tor, um, which I kind of blended into like my crease, especially my middle of my crease. And then I used that also to blend out the black a little bit. I further blended out that as well as my inner part of my crease with the shade Sculpture right here, which is that light gray. And then to bring a little bit of warmth, I've used Seed like on the outer corner just to blend out that black a little bit more. And then lastly, I used tusk right here to blend everything out and as well bring a little bit more warmness on to to the like top lid uh, and then again i used tone on the bottom lid to blend out my lower lash line shade which is a deep brown which is in my panda palette uh, and then obviously for shimmers i use other things but that is what i use for this palette today so as you can tell i have not quite reveled up yet i didn't expect to level up with this palette in a month because again the pants are so deep and like so pigmented but i guess i could have used this one 30 times in a month but I, since i was traveling i didn't and i didn't want to reach for this one every single day so what i'm going to do is i don't like doing this normally i like completing my level before i roll in something new but since i only have that one shade to use in here i used like i hit my all my usage goals and I'm pretty sure that I will be able to hit 17 more uses on this next month because it's a very nice everyday shade for me. I have decided to actually roll in my level 2 palette as well to get a head start. The main reason I'm doing that is because I do want to ideally this year complete level 5 again. So, you know, to give myself a little bit of a head start on that, I do want to roll in level 2. And also to make it more fun for you guys in the next update because I'm, I'm sure what's going to happen next update is me going to go here and say, yep, I've used this shadow. 17 more times or however long if I do hit pan on it um, and then I might have used one of the other 
purchase a couple times i don't know i'm panning a lot of eyeshadow so i'm not sure if how much i will use this palette but maybe i'll reach a couple shades in here um and that will be that for that update so i feel like rolling in a second palette will make it more exciting next month because i have somewhat hit my goal on this one or at least half the goal and i'm only going to focus on one shade moving forward so let me pull up my app my tiny decisions app and i'm going to go ahead and randomize the new palette so as always i'm a little bit nervous but i'm also excited to see what i'm going to get for level two um i do have a couple palettes that i might veto if i get them but most of the time i do try to make them work for this project so i'm just going to go ahead and randomize i'm not sure what i'm going to get but let's just go ahead and see Ah, uh, honey. Okay. Yeah, that works. We are in the end of summer, so that palette will work. And that kind of messed up my lighting a little bit. But let me go and get my Aha uh Honey palette and I'll show you what it looks like. So I am back with my Aha uh Honey palette. Mine looks like this. It's basically the normal palette that I have switched out this shade here. It was a shimmer shadow before, which I had pan on, but I replaced it with a matte because I didn't like that shimmer shade anymore. So in here um i was gonna say this is probably gonna take quite a while to hit pan on i will hit my goal on because i mainly have mattes and then one shimmer but i do also realize i have the press glitter in here so i might focus on that because i know the press glitters are quite easy to pan on and i can use that both for my eyes and mainly as a nail polish and i feel like if i use it as a nail polish it will be quite easy to pan on um that will be i think one of the ones i'm going to focus on and honestly the other one i think i'm going to focus on is probably dandy because i know the mattes especially in here are quite uh, firmly pressed but i'm just gonna see how it goes next month but i'm glad i rolled this one in now to get a head start and i'm not gonna be too stressed about hitting my goal on this one next month if i can hit goal on both of these palettes so both this one and then the last shadow i'm working on in here that would be amazing but we'll see, see how i end up doing so i did go ahead and swatch out the aha uh, honey palette it's right here so that's the top row the middle row and the bottom row and the two i'm going to focus on i think are these two right here so this shimmer and then this pressed glitter and then obviously use everything else two times and then also just for interest this is the tone shade that i'm currently working on as well so that's all i'm going to work on for next month so we'll see how i go but that is it for this update i hope you guys are okay with me rolling in a second palette i feel like it will be more exciting for you guys anyway so that is what i'm going to focus on. i'm going to focus on hitting my remaining usage goal or pan on the tone shade in here and then hitting my level two for the aha honey so that you guys is it for today i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and i will catch you in my next one bye guys